be terrified of all kinds of things like asteroids, ice ages. I'm not not terrified of asteroids. I've never once thought about it. You always hear about them like, oh, they 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 miss the Earth by like it's always like a hundred thousand miles. That doesn't mm-hmm. seem that close. Yeah, it's just a time thing, Lewis. It's just a time thing. What do you mean? It's just a time thing. We're gonna get hit. Yeah, it's. Inevitable. It's happened thousands of times, probably, while human beings have been alive. Look. And some if, of them are big. If an asteroid hits Mars and we hear about it, then I'm going to go, all right, fuck. We're in trouble. Well, they had a, ha- and a big one hit Jupiter once. Oh, really? Yeah. And they, they really um, were surprised because the impact was like far larger than they thought it was going to be. But it was an enormous one. That's apparently that's what protects us. Jupiter's so massive that it mm. like sucks up most of the asteroids and comets. That's what allows us to not just be pelted all the time because there's just like hundreds of thousands of these near Earth objects that are just. Fucking Joe, why are you trying around. to scare the audience right now? I don't really know what is. What's your angle here? I'm not here? trying You're, to these scare people are anybody. Terrified this right is now. just what I think about all the time. <laughs> the gas giant regularly absorbs hits from comets and asteroids, protecting their inner solar system worlds. Damn. Yeah, I think they have the photo. Of uh, it getting hit, but uh, it got hit by some just fucking dinosaur killer, just yeah. some big one, just shot, boom. Yeah, something like that. I'm all, like, and that's a wrap. So that you could see it, you could, you could actually see it get hit. There's just no control with that. Like, there's nothing that I can do. If we get hit by an asteroid one day, that's that. I'm not, you know, I can control not giving myself cancer by smoking blunts every day. Mm. Or maybe that's what's making you not have cancer. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> maybe this is my Jupiter. That's, your, that's my your Jupiter. saving you. Yeah, that's your Jupiter. There we go. Yeah, just space in general. It's like the, the most insane prospect ever. This infinite thing that we exist in, and there's rocks flying through it that occasionally slam into the planet and cause civilization to reset. Yeah. <laughs> That's is that actually what happened with like Big Bang Theory, right? That's the idea. Is that that's what killed the dinosaurs? Well, Big Bang Theory is the beginning of the universe. What killed the dinosaurs is one of these asteroids. I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah. you're not. An idiot. <laughs> Just don't. I don't know you don't about think any of about this stuff. asteroids. I don't think about asteroids. I think about them all the time. I think about them all the time because I've had these uh, experts on. They fucking permanently mind fucked me, yeah. especially Randall Carlson. He's this dude that, um, along with Graham Hancock, they've come up with this theory that uh, human beings got hit by asteroids somewhere around 11,000, 11,800 years ago. And civilization just reset. Mm. And we were basically like savages for thousands of years, which totally makes sense. And then the, the civilization that emerged from that, like Babylon and Mesopotamia, the, the first civilizations we know of, like Sumer, Mm. Those were probably a reboot, like thousands of years of chaos before they figured out how to calm down and develop civilization again. Yeah. Um, I don't know about any of that shit, dude. How do you, <laughs> okay. how do you talk to these people? You're a fucking comic. I, you, do, were you always this dude? You were like super interested in like everything? Because I, I watch you interview people, and you're really fucking good at like having these conversations with these people in all of these fields. And I'm going like, God damn, dude. Like, how do you have the capacity to take that all in and fucking... Just well, be interested. It's all, but it's only things that I'm interested in. Because no comic the, that I know does that. Like, literally, no. every other comic is a fucking idiot who's just smoking weed or drinking beer and just trying to show up and get some pussy at the end of the night. And I, I think, look, you know, it's a compliment because it really is, I think, why you created something so big is you're so interested in so much stuff that I think it made, like, it gave you this, like, mass appeal. But was it, like, always that way or was it doing the podcast that turned you into that? Well, I've always been curious, but then doing the podcast allowed me to have all these conversations with people. It's like getting an accidental education. 